Oh my God, I have no idea. I don't even know if I'll get married. You need to go to school for a long time to be a veterinarian. What is your dream house? My dream house is a place on Lake Michigan where I can have a sailboat and a canoe. Who's your best friend? Duh, you. Who's your worst enemy? I don't have a worst enemy, but there is someone who gets on my nerves. You know who I'm talking about? Who do you like? Sworn to secrecy. I, you always ask me this. I don't know if I like anyone, but Eric Haskins is really nice. He's super funny, and we always talk to each other at recess, and our moms are friends. How am I supposed to survive this class? By writing me another quiz. My hands were sweating. Clarence took a plate of lasagna out of the microwave and put it down in front of me. Anything, Eric? I looked it up. Looked up at him. Did he see the quiver in my lip? Could he hear me thumping in my hear the thumping in my chest? Nothing, Clarence. He sighed and he sat down at his desk. We started reading the day's haul. My eyes went back to the note. Is Melody M who I think she is? This must be her. My name is spelled out in black and white. Melody Miller is the only Melody that I know. It's not like she comes right out and says she likes me, but under the question, who do you like? She wrote my name. Reading this, you could interpret it as to say, if I hadn't liked someone, I, it'd be Eric Haskins. Maybe that's going too far, but maybe not. It's the same, it, my name. It is my name there in girly, curly handwriting. Clarence, I said, trying to act casual. When were these notes found in this section here? And I gestured to that part of the drawer that I took Melody M's note from. Um, those, Clarence put a finger to his lips. Last year, yeah, the whole section is from late last year. Why? No reason, I said. Clarence went back to his reading and he went back, and I went back to mine. Eric Haskins is really nice. Nice, like, like a nice car or a nice shot in a basketball game. He's super funny. Funny like a lovable guy you just always want to be around. We always talk to each other at recess. Always. She can't get enough of me.